Prince Harry's latest appearance on The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon unexpectedly turned tense, sparking significant media criticism and leading many to question his divisive standing with the public. The discussion began lightheartedly, focusing on his charity work, but soon escalated into a troubling episode that elicited strong reactions from both the live audience and global viewers. At first, Harry received polite applause. However, the mood quickly turned unsettling. As soon as the interview started, boos resonated from the audience, surprising both Harry and Jimmy Fallon. Trying to maintain a positive tone in their conversation, Fallon redirected attention to Harry's charitable work with children affected by HIV AIDS. Unfortunately, this did little to quell the growing negativity in the room, which only deepened when Prince Harry discussed his life in America along with Meghan Markle and their future plans for raising their children there. At this moment, the tension hit its peak. The audience's response became hostile as some members began to openly heckle Harry. A small but vocal faction demanded that he leave the monarchy and return home, while others continuously chanted Meghan, intensifying the situation even further. Fallon, who at first appeared intent on preserving the show's typical lighthearted atmosphere, began to show signs of discomfort. His efforts to steer away from the situation grew increasingly tense as the crowd's hostility intensified. Harry also found it difficult to stay composed, trying to justify his decisions and relocation to the U.S. by explaining the pressures experienced as part of the British monarchy. However, his explanations were largely ignored amidst a growing wave of jeers from those present. The tension between the prince and the audience was unmistakable as Harry grew more distressed throughout the interview. The mix of heckling, boos, and relentless chants about Meghan Markle turned into an uncontrollable spectacle of discomfort for both Harry and Fallon. Originally intended to showcase Prince Harry's charitable efforts, the platform quickly spiraled into a public relations fiasco. Under pressure and perhaps realizing that the situation was beyond repair, Harry unexpectedly decided to end the interview early. He exited abruptly before his planned musical performance, leaving Fallon on set to salvage what he could of the remaining segment. The show concluded with a somber atmosphere, leaving the studio filled with confusion and unease. The repercussions of this disastrous appearance were swift. Within hours, clips of the event went viral on social media, garnering over 10 million views. Some online commentators speculated that royalist groups might have launched a campaign to fuel the hostile reaction towards Harry. Others suggested there was increasing disillusionment with Harry and Meghan in both the UK and US, indicating that Harry had misjudged his audience's sentiments dramatically. The incident also sparked renewed discussions about Harry's place in public life. Was this appearance an effort to restore his image, or just another misjudgment among various public relations errors since relocating to America. Numerous commentators speculated that the show was orchestrated by Harry as a bid to win back favor in the U.S., where he and Meghan have experienced varying levels of popularity. What was meant to be a triumphant return to the spotlight only highlighted how much his popularity had declined among some Americans. The media frenzy following the event further emphasized a deepening split in public opinion about Harry and Meghan. While some people felt sympathy for Harry, citing the immense pressure he has faced since stepping away from royal duties, others saw that night as representative of what they consider an out-of-touch approach to his public persona.